Good <laughs> afternoon, everybody, and I uh, hope everybody's enjoying the summer. And I have Lori with me today, and we're going to do three different recipes. One will be a pistachio um, pudding type of dessert, and I'm going to make a, um, a Western salad, my own style, and Lori's going to do a uh, smoothie for you, which is a nice way to mm -hmm. uh, enjoy the summer with the fruit and uh, strawberries and so on. Okay, I'm going to start first with my salad. And um, I always start with good green lettuce because iceberg lettuce has no nutritional value and I like to get the best out of the salad by using uh, good um, combinations of green leafy salads. So <clears throat> this is already pre-washed, so I don't have to worry about it. Oh, by the way, uh, I think I mentioned it last time, but I just want to mention it again in case I didn't. Um, I recently came across some information about soaking your vegetables in one cup of vinegar, and I think we mentioned it last time, didn't I? Um, fruits and vegetables for about 10 minutes in your sink with a cup of water and of course you're going to let the water uh, rise so it's going to cover the vegetables. Not all the vegetables will, some of them will rise but you can, you know, uh, wash them and move them around like blueberries. They kind of float to the top. But um, Does that take wax off too? It takes, well I'm glad you mentioned, it takes wax off, it takes some of the pesticides off and I am absolutely amazed that my fruit lasted twice as long, uh, longer than, than I've ever really? had before. Yes, wow. yes. And the dirt comes off and you're, you know you're eating it good. It's a great preservative. If you want to rinse it off again so you make sure you don't have any vinegar <laughs> taste. <All right. laughs> but I haven't noticed it really. So How much vinegar for? one cup, maybe you have a gallon or two of water. And uh, you know, you just wait about ten minutes. Go do something else. No brushing or anything. No just brushing. Leave it, right? Just leave it. Okay. You know, I swish it around a little bit, and um, you know, so that's okay. But anyway, <clears throat> so I make sure these I didn't do. I just put them in water because I'm here. But um, I like to do that even with some of the vegetables that have um, have a, a thick. Um, a thick skin that I take off. So anyway, I'm going to just make, this would be just an individual salad, but you can, I've made them for my family and uh, for more than three or four people when I had company. So you just put it around like that. And actually, you, I could have put it in here so you could see it as I'm putting it in. And I lost a couple. And then later I'm going to put it in the dish so you see how nice it looks in a nice, pretty summer type of dish. Okay, then um, I'm going to put some black beans in it because this is great, uh, has great nutritional value. So I take black beans and you don't have to even rinse them off, you know, to get the sauce off. But then you just, I just place them around here like that. And usually you figure about a third of a cup, uh, maybe not for individually, less than that maybe. So you want to make sure you get that protein. And then I take some corn, and this is a little bit, it was a little frozen. Do you want to microwave it? A little? Yeah, maybe we should microwave it. I'll put the other things in. Um, I'm going to put a couple of uh, cherry tomatoes in, around the side, or top, wherever you like it, and then probably just 30 seconds more, that's okay. all it needs. Then I, um, <clears throat> I have these uh, Boca burgers, I bought them, usually I use the Morning Star, you know, the chick patties, but these taste pretty much like it, and uh, it has a nice flavor. Then I'm using two, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't put, if I, I would use two probably for four people. And then, you know, you could cut it in strips if you want. And you can cut it, uh, you can cut it in cubes if you want. The strips kind of look pretty. So, oops. 
we we don't even have corn. to worry. We can put that in. And I'm not going to put it all in because it'd be too much. I'll just put a few in here like that. And I'll put my corn in like that. And I added something that I usually don't oops, put it in here, some scallions. I think that makes it taste nice. I, although I have red onions, and I love to put red onions in everything. <laughs> Except I wouldn't put red onions in my cereal, but <laughs> in my, a lot of foods. <laughs> so I'll just, and I like to use this part of it too. So that tastes good too. So I have that in there. And then, <clears throat> let's see, I'll put some cheese on top. This is Mexican cheese, like a Mexican blend. So I'll put that on top. I, I, if you wanted to put sour cream, but then if you're watching your weight, you might not want to put sour cream. But I'm going to put the other little piece of the red onion, just because it has such a nice flavor. I like it. It looks pretty, too. That salad looks nice. Look yeah. Very colorful. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you want, yeah. right? You very want summery, very yeah. colorful. Yeah. Yep. And then I'm going to top it with. Oh. Right. <laughs> this, is the, this is the new thing. on top, right? <laughs> this is the new thing in my house. <laughs> and we love it. And we, everybody loves it, yes. And you just. What is it? It's, these are the, I'm sorry, these are the Southwest flavor tortilla strips. Oh, and, uh, and it's gluten free too, if somebody. Who makes it? It is made by Mrs. Cabin, Cabinsons. Yeah. Mrs. Cabinsons, oh, right? Yeah. Cabinsons, yeah. Cabinsons, yeah. okay. <laughs> All right. I never even look at anything. Yeah. I just, just look, look at the picture. I look at the picture. <laughs> I look at the picture. But anyway, and this is, says it's naturally gluten, gluten free, so just in case, and it's great in soups, too, and salad, but I never used it in soup. But anyway, so I think that makes a very nice salad. That's a, that's a big portion for one person, mm -hmm. and uh, I won't put it in here, but you can imagine how nice it would look in that dish. And um, I would, uh, it, it, this would really fill you up, too, if you were watching your weight, I think. So we'll pass that around. Oh. And I forgot, I wanted to put a little bit of dressing. This is fat free. And it really doesn't taste bad with all the other combinations in here. And is it tastes nice. Is regular Italian dressing? Yep, this is regular Italian. You could use oil and vinegar mm. if you want. Um, I use a lot of. With uh, lemon? With lemon. Mm -hmm. You could do your own thing. You know, you don't have to um, necessarily do. So that uh, can go. To I mean, we can give it to people if they want to sample it. I'll put the covers on so I don't knock things down. <laughs> Do you need uh, utensils? Yeah, looks nice. And, you know, people try to watch their weight and everything. So, do you want to do yours next? Or do you yeah, to? I'll do it. Okay. Okay. All right, so I'm going to make my mom said smoothies. Um, yeah. It's actually going to be like a kind of natural ice cream. Um, so I have some strawberries, and we picked these. We went to the strawberry patch and picked these, and they're Which already all. Which one did you pick? Which one did you go? In Lunenburg, yeah. Lanny Orchards, and they were really nice. Yes. I will give it to you. It's not far. They were really nice. Their strawberries were nice. They grow a bunch of other um, things yeah. too, and so you can you can pick blueberries and they have peaches. They had grapes. They had a, a ton of stuff, and their prices were really good too. So, yeah, tell them how, how inexpensive they ones. were. A dollar sixty nine a pound. Oh my god. Other places are which is good. Or which is good. Which is really good. That's a really good price. So. Have they do have blueberries. I'm not sure what the price is, but all their pricing was really, really good. So that was a great price. So we loaded up on these. And what farm again? I'm sorry. Lanny Orchards okay. in Lunenburg. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We, they usually, have, <clears throat> we usually go for all our other stuff to the, um, to the uh, what was the name of the, uh, the orchard nearby? Oh. 
Tugas Farms or something? No, yeah. no, no, no. George Hill. We oh, were yeah, on George yeah, yeah. Hill because yeah. they have the best peaches. Yes. And but and they have blueberries. I yes. love their blueberries. Apples in the fall. Apples in the fall. So we Good go stuff. there. Yes. We support them. Yeah. But uh, they don't have strawberries. I wish they did. I know. Be nice. But and we um, love strawberries in our house. So we loaded up on these and we washed them all, took the stems off, and froze them. So now I have bags and bags and bags of this in the freezer. My kids eat it like just about every day because they love it. And it's good. And I don't mind them eating it because I know it's healthy. So last, oh, last time we were talking about the uh, blueberries and how the, I was mentioning that we had, there was a study on blueberries. People drinking blueberry juice, it helped improve their memory after a certain age. So <clears throat> I know blueberries are good for um, high blood pressure. Okay, I'll let you tell me. No, you that's fine. So we just got a little um, yogurt. You can use any flavor you want. I like the vanilla. So that helps just give it almost like a little, you know, so it can mix around and blend up well. And this is, I start this as a base for like most of my smoothies, but if you wanted to make a smoothie, you could just add juice. I told my mom, sometimes I add orange juice and everything else, but when the strawberries are so frozen like this and you just add the yogurt, I find that it's sweet enough and it's really, you can eat it with a spoon. <laughs> so I'll start this up. This might almost not be frozen enough. <laughs> that frozen because we were we're in here and it's been mm -hmm. hot outside and in transit but usually it's do we have the consistency of somewhere? yes we have little cups huh? I think it's coming to yeah, an end so I think now. almost yeah last week it was at its peak so no yeah so it maybe we can we can hand it to the ladies maybe they can get some cups okay. and try it okay Blueberries will be around, though. Oh, blueberries, yes. Oh, yeah, they're blueberries. starting Definitely. up now. Definitely. Definitely. Any kind of fruit. Any kind of fruit. Do you have any little paper cups? That's what we're looking for. Yeah, my son is Okay, what, why don't we get busy with this while they're doing that, let's get busy and let's make our pistachio cake, uh, our pistachio dessert. dessert. <laughs> and I, I have to tell you, this is confession, <laughs> I'm using butter, I never use butter, but today we're going to use butter. <laughs> and um, some people say that it's better to have a little butter than some margarine. Uh, I'm going to try to think about a substitute for this that we could use. I but, mean, you, know, you can one. use margarine. Yes. Because the recipe calls for it. But I have a confession. Yeah. I like butter because it's so, it's it a little, tastes. yeah. And it's a little more rich. Right. So I've swapped it out from margarine to butter. Right. But the original recipe does call yes. for margarine. I did see the original <laughs> recipe, but I kept to what you were doing. So now we're going to use the blender again. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like when okay. we're done. I'm going to get that and rinse it out while you're working okay. on that. All right, thanks. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our base. I'll put it over here so everybody can see. We're going to make our base. And our base is Ritz crackers. <laughs> and so you'll get a little workout with the Ritz crackers because you, you could put it in a blender if you wanted, but I, I don't mind crushing them up. Uh, to me, it's less messy <laughs> to do that. If I had to put it in the blender, it would be, you know, I'd have to clean the blender out. So I'm going to just crush them up. I'll just empty them here. And you need two packages of the Ritz crackers. So I'm going to start depending on the size. Now you can, if you want to make this recipe and you don't want to make as much as I have, then you have to figure your, um, you have to calculate your ingredients, okay? So I'm crushing it up 
very well. And with the butter on top of it, with the butter on top of it, it will it will get soften all the pieces that might be a little bit bigger. My hands are clean, so. Mm -hmm. That's a good way to do it. Yeah. Sometimes I put it in a bag and use the pin. But oh, I yeah. bet you that will be easier because it takes me a long time. Yeah, you can use rose pin. That's right. You could. That's what Lori was saying, too. Yeah, I put it in you a know. bag and then yeah. smash it up. But right. this, it actually takes me a little while and this seems fast. Yeah, this, <laughs> if you have strong hands. <laughs> Yeah, yes. <laughs> that's right. It's like making bread, you know, you can get all your aggression out. So this is what one looks like. So let's, that's not enough for this. And I'll tell you, that crust tastes so good. <laughs> with, the, with the butter and everything else. Sometimes you get a little piece that's a little bigger, so you just have to kind of go back in and just make crumbs out of it. It's good, though, because mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah. That's, right? that's right. Sometimes you can make it thinner. Sometimes, you know. Lori, nothing has to be perfect no. when you're cooking. I mean, I, know. I mean, what one person does, the other one doesn't do. That's Somebody true. may see this and say, oh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> How about doing this? I, right. And I have done that with every, practically everything I've seen. I, I think I mentioned it before that I used to go years ago to somebody's house, and I, I never asked for recipes very often. <laughs> but I'd look and say, oh, what's in there? What do you mean? And then I'd go home, and I'd make it myself yeah. my way. Yeah. So. Well, that's true. Sometimes I'll make something and somebody will say, oh, you should try this or this or that with yeah. it. And you didn't think of it, and right. it comes out really nice. Right. And, you know, you make a mistake, so what? You <laughs> learn from your mistakes, right? That's My father true. used to say, that's why they put erases on the end of pencils. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've already heated this up before. And uh, I'll use that one here. I've already heated that up before, so it should come very nicely out. Throw this away. This is the part I don't like. Yeah. All the a little messy. Little messy, yeah. So, oh, it for the butter, it's one and three quarter sticks. And I guess if you're just you have one small piece of dessert, it's not the the worst thing in the world. <laughs> so. You don't want to eat the whole thing. Oops. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is you think that's uh, soft enough? Or should I? Think I think so. I'll, you, I can put it in the microwave yeah. if you want for a second. Maybe for one, five seconds or ten okay. seconds. I'm going to pour it at the bottom and it's going to get nice and moist. And then I can work on my other ingredients which we're going to do in the blender. Oh, here it comes already. Oh, that's perfect. That's per That's what I really wanted, but I didn't want to overdo it. Okay, so I'm going to kind of pour this in here. And I found through doing this a couple of times um, that I have to work it around a little bit too. I like to get everything <laughs> out. <laughs> When I eat a yogurt, oh, I practically turn the <laughs> container inside out. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to just mash it down, or I can do this too. I found that, you know, the, um, the crumbs will be absorbed by the butter if I, if I kind of mix it around, and then I can press it together. You can use a fork. I had a fork before that I used with it, I think, somewhere around. There was your fork. Oh, here it is. Mm -hmm. I was prepared with everything. You were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I just press it down like that, and all the butter should more or less be 
absorbed in the crackers. And, and this is good too because you have some crackers that are a little uh, not crushed up. The fork will do the final thing for you. Okay, now I'm going to let that settle. If you were home, you might want to put this in the refrigerator, right? Definitely. You yeah. would. You take this and you would start chilling that while you make the filling. Right. So, uh, we won't do that probably here. We won't have enough time. <laughs> but now I'll get busy. Let me just wash my hands real quick because I have full of Ritz crackers and <laughs> butter. And uh, we're going to use our blender Water again. again. Now, here's what I'm going to do for that. I'm going to take four cups of vanilla ice cream. You can use light ice cream if you want. Oh, I didn't take this off. I thought I did. Um, I thought I had taken it all off. I guess I didn't. Okay. Always be careful with knives. <laughs> and put them out of the reach of children. I don't have any children here. But. Okay. Thank you, Lori. You're welcome. Now we're going to put our, uh, I had this out for a while. Well, this is perfect. So it's yeah. perfect, yeah. So now I have to measure it. I love this measuring cup from home because it has all the numbers going up this way. It has a hole down here. And you can also uh, see all the milliliters. I like that. Yeah. So no going like this. Right, right, <laughs> right. Let's see. You gotta have a good grip on it. <laughs> the top is soft, but the underneath is not too soft. Yeah, hey, you wanna help me? I'll hold yes. that. You said four cups, right? Four cups. So it's almost of vanilla ice cream. all of this. Almost all, yes, you're right. Almost all of it. This part is usually a little messy and hard to get you know, super precise. We're not there yet. Not there yet, no. Not there yet. <laughs> Soon. Oops. Sorry about that, Mark. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Are we there? No? Almost. Almost. Yep. What do you think? I think it's perfect. Okay. I think it's perfect. Yeah. So we're going to... There's just a little bit left in the container, right? Right. Just a little bit left in the container. Okay. Which I hope I don't eat when I go home. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Weight Watchers and the simple start is allowing you to have a half a cup of vanilla ice cream. It doesn't say light either. But I, I, I like to stay away from it. that. I have calculated the points on this. You know, Weight Watchers has you build the recipe and then it'll tell you, you know, you tell how many servings and then it'll tell you how much, how many points each individual serving is. I want to say I did it before, but I can't guarantee. I want to say it was around five points per slice. Oh, of this, of the pistachio. Of that. Okay, five points? Yes. Yeah. I think That's that okay. was around That's good. what it was. Okay. Which is not terrible. You want to put, put that in there, and I'll get the two. We need uh, two cups of milk when she's finished. Okay. And I'm not washing it out. No. It's not necessary. Are you just using whole milk? Uh, this is, there? no, this is 2%, okay. isn't it? I think so, yes. yes 2%. Oh, yes. yes, I'm sorry. Here it is, 2%. I always use 2%. Uh, let's see. Just let me oh, you see. can't see. I have to read it. I have to well, make it's sure. all covered in ice cream. It's all covered with white. There we go. Two is right there. Right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can't eyeball everything, you know? <laughs> I think I can, but I can't. <laughs> that's, that's, okay, put that in. Okay. And then I'm going to get, the next thing we have to do is we have to put two packages of Jello pistachio pudding. And I guess that's the purpose of the milk, so that it comes together. And you want to do the other one? Sure. Yeah. 
I would have used my blender, but somehow my blender, when I was making the other batch, didn't seem to um, want to work right. <laughs> so I needed a good blender. Here you go, Ma. Let me put the two. Okay, you're turning it, and what, how do we do this? On or? Mm -hmm. Oh boy, it's Start working slow. hard. Oh. I notice sometimes the pistachio sticks, so you have to. Do you need this one? Do you need this spoon? Okay. No, I have that little black tamper okay. thing in the sink. Yep. Okay. It looks. Uh, yeah, it looks like the. Uh, Last time I got overzealous and <laughs> overblended it. Oh, you did? Yes. Oh, you did. It was very. I don't know melting. whether it's because it's summertime and things are melting quickly. Mm -hmm. How is it? It should be getting a little thicker from the. Mm -hmm. I would put this off here. Okay, get that off. Yeah. I like to get every bit of everything. <laughs> And maybe down at the bottom, too. Oh, I noticed it's getting a little thicker, a little thicker. Is it? Do you want me to blend yeah. it a little more? Uh, no. Yeah, maybe a second. We'll put it on really few. low. Okay. We can leave it. Okay. You tell me when. <laughs> okay. You turn it up high for a minute. Turn it up high. Pudding here. I think it's ready. Oh yeah. That's ready. Okay, now I'm ready to pour it in. Pour it in, Lori. Okay. Better go slowly. Last time I poured it so fast and yeah. we didn't have the pan chilled. Yeah. Yeah, that the pieces mm -hmm. of the crumbs came up. Right. But it tasted just the same. Yeah, that's a good idea. She's pouring it very slowly. So that nothing is flying up at her. And that's going to, you, you can't, with this pudding, um, with this recipe, you have to make sure that you have a good, how many hours would you say? Oh, uh, I'm, you know, really, it's best overnight. Yeah. They say like four hours, four, four to five hours, but really, this is like a make ahead if you're going to take it somewhere and then you put it in the refrigerator overnight and then the next the next day you're ready to go. Mm -hmm. well, how long can you leave it out like that without It was fine. This Yeah, that's I, this been is out. the one I have had it out since I came here. So it's been it's out a half good. hour or more. Now, I if you notice something and I wasn't I was going to try to hide it, but I didn't. <laughs> There's little white spots there. And that's, that's because my blender wasn't work, working properly and the little bits of um, ice cream oh. kind of made it look spotty. But it doesn't make a difference if you're putting some whipped right. topping on Once it. Once this goes on your plate, it's all kind of messy anyway. Yeah. <laughs> this should be okay. We should be able to make squares out of it. So I would just put some uh, whipped topping on top of this. And you know what I was thinking? If you wanted to put the blueberries or strawberries or, oh, you know what I was thinking about putting almonds on top, oh, that slivered would be almonds. Nice. Yeah, I forgot to bring it. That was the only thing I forgot to bring here, but um, that would be a nice, a nice change too. You could do whatever you want. Anything that would go with pistachio. Oh, oh, maybe even little pieces of lemon or something. Yeah. Might be nice too. So, do what you want with it. Or I think it was Monique last time that said, yeah. you could make this a chocolate dessert by That's using right. chocolate pudding, right? Do the right? same thing with chocolate And chocolate pudding. ice cream. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> huh? You don't think she said like she's wondering pistachios. about children with pistachios? They like it. Yeah. Right. Usually, kids, children usually like to 
break open this pistachios and eat them, but... Or it, someone with different dietary needs and they can't have nuts or right, something. Right, right. Then you could change that to chocolate or vanilla, too. Right. And I'm, I'm thinking, too, if you wanted a variation, I don't see why you couldn't have, instead of Ritz crackers, have graham crackers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can we could scale this down yes. to uh, a, 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 a you know without right. the butter or right. without you know you could margarine. Make lots of substitutions. There's room. Right, right. So here it is. The fun. So we'll all have a chance to sample it. Thank you. Okay, we'll um, we'll cut it up. Let's see. Where's our knife? And we'll see if we can make some squares out of it. What I'm doing? We'll just take one of these. Okay. And see how it turns out. I would normally use like a glass, a glass instead mm. of this, but because I was traveling with it, I thought this might be better. I would like it to be glass so you could see the bottom of it yeah. a little better. Let's see, Lori, if we can, I think they have a... Plate? No, I think they have like a, a spatula. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I can find one. Yes, they do. Okay. All right, we'll try to take it out. Do we have a plate? Putting it on that bowl? Or are you looking for a plate? No, I was looking for a plate. Maybe I'll take the middle piece out first. It might be easier. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So here's how it looks. I'll rinse one so you can see. Let me just rinse okay. this off. Not bad, huh? Okay. Everybody enjoy. Oh, look! It's even green. It matches the dessert. It matches the plate. <laughs> yes.